have all heard that coral reefs and our oceans are deteriorating, but have you ever taken the time to consider how many threats to the reefs are human-induced and how serious these threats are? In this video, we will discuss the significance of our coral reefs and how we can preserve them in our oceans. We will focus on those in the Hawaiian Islands in specific due to their large reef populations, but please remember that this information is applicable to reefs all over our world. Coral reefs are large underwater structures that are formed in one of two ways. The first being that mobile coral larvae attach to rocks or other hard surfaces and continue to expand as others join. The second major way that coral reefs are formed is through the buildup of invertebrate skeletons. Species that build reefs are hermatypic or hard due to their extraction of calcium carbonate from surrounding seawater. In regards to Hawaiian coral reefs, 410,000 acres of living reef are found on the islands alone, equaling more landmass than all of Oahu. The Hawaiian Islands are home to over 85% of coral reefs in America, and most are at least 6,000 years old due to their efficient life cycles. One of the many benefits of coral reefs is the habitat they provide for fish. Interestingly, due to its isolation, Hawaii's reef ecosystem has over 1,250 unique species that are only found there. However, reef benefits don't stop at marine life habitat, but also they provide a source of food and medical research that humans are able to utilize, and they provide protection to humans by guarding coastlines from storms and erosion. Unfortunately, we will not be able to take advantage of the opportunities reefs offer if the issues of pollution and other threats continue to cause their decline. These issues include, but are not limited to, dangerous anchoring and fishing strategies, the continuous presence of toxic chemicals, and mindless recreation of coral reefs. The increase of anchoring and harmful fishing strategies has continued to damage and destroy the reefs. Reckless anchoring causes unnecessary breakage of the reefs. A safer alternative is the use of mooring buoys, which utilize permanent lines that allow boats to fix their position without dropping an anchor and damaging reefs. Also, reef markers can be used to indicate whether stopping areas are located over reefs as opposed to a safe anchoring location with sandy bottoms. Overfishing leads to a population decline of fish who feed on algae, which causes algae growth to go unchecked and smother the reefs. On the other hand, dangerous fishing strategies that use shockwaves and large fishing nets physically damage the reef structure and its ecosystem. More mindful fishing, as well as the implementation of no-take zones and seasonal closures of coral reefs and breeding sites can benefit the fish species and the reefs they inhabit. Another human-induced threat comes from the presence of toxic chemicals, many of which are in sunscreens we use. The sunscreen ingredients we use in our bodies and take into the ocean with us can make their way to coral reefs and chemically damage them. Sunscreen bans such as those made effective in 2021 in Hawaii can decrease the harmful chemicals in the ocean, which in turn save reefs from this type of chemical damage. Lastly, it is fun to go on snorkeling excursions on our tropical vacations. Taking pictures and videos of the reefs we see is a great way to bring memories home with us. However, touching reefs and even breaking off pieces to bring as souvenirs is very harmful to the reefs, and all snorkeling groups should be made very aware of this. More awareness of potential mindless recreation could be key in preserving the health and structure of coral reefs we encounter. Think of all the coral reefs that can be helped and saved by simply using these safer strategies for the main threats discussed. Hopefully, this video made you realize how much of a threat humans are to coral reef populations, and how simple changes in our lives can increase reef health and wellness. Please remember that these alternative strategies can and should be used in all other areas with high coral reef densities. In fact, Hawaii would make a great resource for those areas, such as Australia's Great Barrier Coral Reef, in regards to conservation efforts. Thank you for watching, and we encourage you to do your own research on coral reefs to come up with more ways to help protect and preserve our coral reefs.